Hello everyone, welcome to another video, we're back playing Pokemon Bridgeborn today and hopefully everyone's having a good day and today we are finally going to Crescent Island so let's make the trip there also I did have a quick look at the Savari Zone and you can't go through it for some reason I don't know if it's just locked for a later time, I do not know right and a very slow review oh my word, look at these little islands look at these trees as well, this place looks amazing I love the rock formations as well, they look really cool. Um, what is that over there? Might be like a little city in a distance or something. Uh, let's have a look in this island, let's see if there's anything here. Right, is there any TMs here? I don't think so. Alright, let's have a talk to everyone. If everyone Is everyone ready for a scary story? Several years ago there was a bunch of people living on the very islands upon which we are standing on right now. One night people started getting swallowed by the sand one by one until they all disappeared. They would never hurt them again. The locals say that there is something in the sand out here that will attack people at night. We're here to see if the stories are true. I seriously doubt there is something that eats people in the sand out here. I believe the stories are made up to scare people from getting close to Crescent Island. That is a good theory. If the stories are true, then that would be bad news for us. I'm also scared right now. Can there really be any sand monsters out there? Probably. I don't really. I don't scare easily. Easy. So I volunteered to come come out here with my friends and stay the night. That's good of you. This guy's got no pants on. I wonder if the ruins on these islands have anything to do with the haunting stories that come from here. Right, let's have a look at this little island over here. I doubt there's going to be anything over here either. I am hoping to go over there and see what's over there. Um, there's nothing on here I can see. Uh, oh, oh, there we go. Let's go on this island and see what's over here. Let's see if there's anything cool over here quickly. Right, so we have landed. And these ruins are ancient. These are several old tales about the people who built on these islands. According to several people I've talked with this, this whole area used to be above land. The people angered a great beast that brought down endless rain that flooded their city. What monster or what Pokemon could do that? They say the spirits of these people still haunt these islands and are afraid to go any further in case the stories are true. That is fair enough. I would also be terrified. Um, I don't think there's anything, any TMs around here. Let's have a look inside as well. Right, so we just got a TM, it was TM85 Dream Eater, 100 power, 100% accuracy, recovers half the HP inflicted on a sleeping opponent. That would also be quite a powerful attack, but I don't think Haunter knows uh, at the sleep move where you put them to sleep. I don't think they know that just yet. So, yeah, let's have a look at these islands. There's one over there as well. I forgot about that. There's a cave there as well. I forgot to mention that. Oh, can we go over here? I don't think we can. Oh, okay. Um, I think this might be the way to the Crescent Island. We won't go to the Crescent Island today, but these, this area, will be explored entirely, hopefully. If we don't have a full episode today, I will go back and have a look at mine. Um, I also want to try and battle some of these people. Hello? Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was that, that was so weird. Why did he do that? Swimmer Branson, a Sharpedo. Now that is a cool Pokemon indeed. That is a really cool Pokemon. I'm using Mega Evolution and Mega Horn again. They are very powerful. Oh yeah, I was wondering if every time you battle something like. Well, no, 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 no. But these people have been here for years, haven't they, in the water? How are they still surviving? Also, it's in the world of Pokemon. Is a is it a rune? It's not a rune stone. It's a Mega Stone. Is it? A, yeah, is a Mega Stone rare? If so, then wouldn't these people be surprised and not want to battle me if I had a Mega Evolved Night Slayer Level Seventy One Absol? Wow, okay, they need to just take me out. I might have to go back um, later on, heal up quickly. We just take, took out man time as well, which gave us 2.2 thousand XP. And no one actually leveled up yet. They're going to send out a Seedra. Wow, okay. Right, so we're going to continue using Megahorn on Seedra, hopefully taking them out. Nearly almost use agility to increase their speed and it sharply rose. I don't know why they would do that. I feel like taking out knights there would be the better option. Yet again, I don't know why they would do that because I feel like they could take out knights later in this scenario. 
maybe that could be something that could be worked, but I guess that's just Pokemon Brick Bones for you. Any every Pokemon game, if it's going to be like a big cave, I might not do the whole entire thing today. I might do a small segment of it, but we'll see how much we can get done, yeah? Right, so we just ended the cave and it's called Ocean's Origin. Okay. Right. What's over here? I'm looking out for any TMs. This could be a legendary Pokemon. I think it is. Who are you? <laughs> Why are you invisible? <laughs> Who's this guy? <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> Who's he? <laughs> a scrapped. A scrapped. Ski wrapped. I don't know how you pronounce that, but looks like a cool Pokemon. Um, but what do we exactly do here? Because there's a guy over here who we can't see. I was a true tool. That's one of the star Pokemon, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, might consider catching that during the stream. That was going on my team though, because I do need a Thunder and Electric type Pokemon. And what Pokemon would you guys suggest I should have? Which would be a good Pokemon. Oh, what? A D oh, yeah, I've heard of this one before. I'm not going to say the name because I'm going to completely missay it. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I've definitely seen one of these in, in like, the anime as, as well. Just Pokemon game in general. I can't speak to him. It, for some reason, it looks really short compared to me. Because I think my avatar is already quite short. But you're even shorter. Okay. Bergmind. Okay, well, that actually looks like a really cool Pokemon. I wonder what the uh, evolved form of that is. I've never seen that one before either. So, I could be another. I could also be added to my uh, catch list. Also, I saw that um, Do the World updated the game and it's got a Christmas event right now, which I will go check out in another video. So, yeah. I think I'm just gonna be in a sh yeah, I'm just just in a streak of you know, got running into load of Pokemon now. So I'm gonna put my super repel back on in a second, and hopefully have a quick look at the left and right top bit of here because I want to see if there's any TMs or anything hidden because that would help a lot, wouldn't it? So I'll go use, and we have a quick sneak peek around here. Uh, I don't think well, we can't even go around there. We yeah, we can't even go that way. And how about this? direction um, I don't think there's anything over here either okay oh 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 what a secret TM 70 look see that's why it's always worth looking every single place flash and it's one of the most it's a, it's a, this attack is useless status normal type zero power 100% accuracy effect lowers opponent accuracy that's so useless. You never know though, I might, <clears throat> for some reason, use it. I doubt I will, <laughs> but yeah. So unfortunately, that's gonna be where we end of the video today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that one, and I'll see you guys in this one. Peace out, bye.